Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video. I will be discussing depression and anxiety attacks. I have manic depression and I also have generalized anxiety, which is kind of hard to deal with, both of them at the same time. Um, I call both of those the devil at the same damn time, they both are the devil. Um, and I only say that because the way that it 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 hinders your life. Um, if you let it, it will put you in a in a in a nutshell. Um, I have been dealing with this since two thousand and seven. Um, the first time I felt something was weird was when I got a phone call that my grandmother was passing away. Um, she had 24 seven, she had 24 hours left to live. Um, I was at work, I was doing security and my grandmother told me to come, my aunt told me to come up to see my grandmother and what she said was true. But before I was able to leave, you know, as a security guard, you have to call somebody to come and get, to take over your post. You can't just get up and leave. So I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling my boss, I'm calling my manager, I'm calling my supervisor. I'm calling anybody I can so that I can leave to go see what's going on with my grandmother. In the midst of trying to leave to see my grandmother, I just caught a panic feeling. I was anxious. I was excited. I, I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what it was exactly at that time. Um, and then something just told me, I said, you're having a, a panic attack. You're having an attack. I never knew what an attack was. I never knew what I we never even heard I never even heard of the word an anxiety attack. I never heard of um being too anxious. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it never I don't know how I knew that that's what I was having. I never heard about it. I never read about it. I never knew nobody that had it. I never knew nothing about it until, like I said, I don't know how I knew about it, but I did. And um, she eventually passed away. Um, and I had my first attack. I'm not sure how long after, but I had my first attack after, after shortly after. The first time that I had it, I experienced foot shaking, stomach, stomach cramp, and my heart, my chest was hurting. I felt like I was having a heart attack. Then I started hyperventilating. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, and I went to the hospital that same, very same every day. And when I went to the hospital, their exact words to me was, Miss mm, McDowell, you have anxiety. You have been diagnosed with anxiety uh, disorder. Your best bet is to go to the doctor, go see a therapist, go see um, a therapist and a, a psychologist, and see what happens, see if you can get better. I said, okay, they gave me some medicine to calm me down, and I went home the very next day. Um... I didn't think nothing of it at that time. Um, I kept on going with my life. It wasn't no big deal to me. I I knew something wasn't right, but the job that I had, um, I was actually just getting a new job, and I wasn't trying to not stop getting my money. So I just was like, forget it, whatever. I'll deal with it when it whenever it comes again. I just keep going to the doctor, basically. And whenever Tommy come, I didn't want it. it was, I, I, I wasn't beat for the fuck up with my way to interfere with my money. So, that's what I did. I ignored it. Um, I'm actually doing this video because you have a glimpse of what it was like for me in the beginning of anxiety. Um... And I want to be able, I want to share with everyone, everyone that decides to look at this, I want to share with you guys how serious it can become, how dangerous it can become. Um, 
some of the things that you might not understand if you know someone who has anxiety and depression or anxiety or depression. Um, some people you might not be able to help out or you might not know how to help a person out with it. Or you might, you might yourself might be a fighter just like I am. And you might be like, yo, like, what do I do? You know, how do I go about it? So I'm here to tip off. I'm here for advice. I'm here, um, I'm here to share my experience with both of them. Um, like I said, I, 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 it's not, I don't just have regular depression. I have manic depression and I have generalized anxiety, general, general, I'm sorry, general anxiety. Um, and it sucks. It makes your life a living hell. Literally. Um, it can it can paralyze you if you don't get up and do something about it. Or if you don't um, fight. Every day is a fight. Um, every day you're struggling to get up and go do this. Or you're struggling to put that smile on your face because... Your depression is bothering the mess out you. You may find yourself or the person that you, you know, you, you, you love or your family member, whomever it is that got depression and anxiety, you might see that they do a lot of mood changes. It's a lot of mood swings that go with it. Well, it's a lot of mood swings because we may be going through other things besides just anxiety and depression. Um... It's a lot of different things that can trigger a person that has anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. You just have to know how to deal with it and to handle it. And they have to know how to deal with it and handle it. If y'all don't know how to deal with it and handle it, y'all are going to clash every single time. Y'all are going to bump heads every single time. Every time. It's not going to fail. So... Like I said in the beginning, I'm here to help. I'm here for to help. I'm here for to give advice. I'm here to give tips. Plus, I'm also get here to give you guys a walk in my shoes of anxiety and depression. I might also um, start taking you guys with me when I um, go to the therapist's meetings, or well, not inside of them. But, you know, me being on my way there, um, I might decide to make a video while I'm having an attack. I might decide to make a video while I am depressed. I might, um, I might just do different things for you guys, just so you guys can get a real dose of reality. Um, it's called, my, my book is based on anxiety and depression, and it's called True Fruits. And I named it True Hurts for a lot of different reasons. Um, anxiety and depression hurts. Facing the truth about certain things that you're not ready for hurts. Um, physical pain for anxiety and depression hurts. So, um, and, and in the reality, this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with anxiety and depression. Um, but I don't want, I don't want another person to do the same mistake that I did. I don't want to let it hinder another person like it hindered me for 10 years. I don't want, you know, another person to stop being able to take care of themselves and support their home, their household, and their children if they have children or if they, even if they don't have children. I don't want it to cripple another person like how it crippled me because this doesn't come with manual. It doesn't come with a script. Your therapist is not going to say, well, you have to do this and you need... No, they're going to tell you what they want to tell you. The medicines, is psych medicines. It just... They psych medicine. I'm going to just be honest. They're like, I'm not going to bullshit with you guys because I've been through too much shit to bullshit with you or any and anybody else that comes to my channel. So, um... Right now, this is just my intro, so, you know, stay tuned and um, subscribe, and if you know anybody that's dealing with it or anything like that, then, you know, tell them to come on, jump on, 
Lady Sag channel. Um, I forgot my Instagram name, but when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. But my Facebook page is Lovin' Tia McDowell, and that's L-U-V-I-N-T-I-A, space, N-C-D-O-W. I will accept your friend request. Um, it doesn't matter what time. If you want to leave a comment, I will comment back to you. I will write back to you. I promise, promise, promise. Um, it's time for us to stop being scared. I'm talking to the depression, the people that suffers from major depression, manic depression, borderline depression, um, low, de it doesn't matter. I'm talking to people that has generalized anxiety, social anxiety, it doesn't matter. I'm speaking to my people. Yes, I'm calling you guys my people because we're in this fight together. You are never alone. You're not alone. Don't feel as though you're alone. Don't feel as though, don't nobody understand what you're going through because it's a thousand people out here. It's a billion people out here that's dealing with anxiety and depression. And they may be scared to show that they got it or they deal with it because sometimes you can be ashamed of having it, especially in your household if it wasn't ever spoke about. So, um, as soon as I get my Instagram name, I will put it under the script below. My Facebook name is under the script below. So, you can go in there and send me a friend request and I will definitely follow you back for one and I will also definitely respond to whatever it is that you want to talk to me about um enjoy the rest of your night eat healthy take a good rest and if you're in that zone right now get you a journal write out how you feel as of right now and I promise you once you write in your journal how you feel you're going to feel a little bit better but the first rule to anxiety and depression, the very first rule is to be honest to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. Be truthful to yourself, your feelings, your fears, anything, everything. Just let it all out. I literally, before we wrap this up, I literally wrote six pages of how I felt. And all I was doing was just writing. It was 4.30 in the morning. I had a breakdown, and I after I shed my tears, I literally just wrote six pages down, and just, that was it, and it works, it helps out, and I'm not saying it's going to happen in one day, it's not going to happen in one day, but I promise you, if you get you a journal, or if you don't have a journal, I don't care, if you got a, if your baby got some construction paper, write it down, write your feelings down. But the thing, the number one truth, the number one thing is, is to be honest with yourself. You owe it to yourself, your family members, and anybody else that loves you, and that's your friends or whatever the case may be, to be honest to yourself to find out where is the number one root coming from. Write it out. Even if you got to stop and stop. <laughs> Even if you got to take a break, so what? Take the break. Take the break, and if you still feel as though you you can't or you got mother other stuff that you need to get off your chest, get it off your chest. Think about it like this. Your journal is your journal. Put it up. Put it up to the kids so the kids can't reach. Put it up somewhere high so the kids can't reach it. And think about it like this. Yeah, like I said, your journal was your journal. Nobody's going to read your journal if you don't want nobody to read it. Me, I don't care if somebody read my journal because my journal is the open book of what I've been feeling and what I've been going through. I've even found paper from 2007 about what I've been going through, what I've been experiencing. Um, yeah, but be honest with yourself. Be honest to whoever you believe in as far as your religion and, and, and take it one, don't take it one day at a time. Take it one second one minute, one hour, then one day at a time, and you'll start seeing a little bit more, you'll start feeling a little bit more better. But this is Lady Sag, aka Tia, and peace.